on SABC News Channel 404. We're talking phenomenal women on Masi. We've just spoken to Tenjiwe from the comedy industry. And now we're looking into something else. Tainita Harilal is a 19-year-old entrepreneur and a chef that hails from Johannesburg in Gauteng. As a young woman, she took her fate into her own hands and started her own online cooking. That's called Bunnies in the Burps our family kitchen and it launches tomorrow. One of her most notable milestones is when she went on a philanthropic drive to raise 150,000 rent and erected a tombstone for the late music legend Dolly Ratebe. Tainita joins us this morning to tell us more about what it means to be a young female entrepreneur here in South Africa. Good morning to you and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning and thank you for having me. It's yeah. a pleasure. We're very happy, happy to have <laughs> you, especially a day before Women's Month. I'm so happy to be here, and like you're saying, it's in Women's Month, it's relevant, and I, I think that um, being a young woman in South Africa, we have to embrace who we are. We do, we certainly do, and a day before your launch. Yes, yes. Isn't it? So, um, the first video goes live tomorrow, because we thought it would be good to launch in Women's Month, when mm. it's, like I'm saying, so relevant, and I'm super excited about it, yeah. Sure, but Tanita, you're very young, 19 years, you're already <laughs> an entrepreneur, uh, where, where does the passion come from? Um, I think for both my projects, it comes from my family. So my mom is very, she has her own business. She's an entrepreneur, but she's also in the music industry and she sees the cultural side of South Africa. And I think that's where my passion comes from. But beyond that, I think that it's important for young people to make our mark and to do positive instead of um, feeding into what people think the youth is. Mm -hmm. When we're actually people that innovate, we do start things. And if you start young, then you can learn from people that are older from mm -hmm. you. Than you, so I think 19 is not that young anymore. People are starting things at 12 or 13. Yeah, no, I wanted to say so that you don't necessarily have to start at the age of 35. Start now while you still can. Yeah, no, definitely. But talk to us about your online show. Like I was saying earlier on, that it launches tomorrow. Bunnies in the Burbs, our family kitchen. What does it focus on? Okay, so Bunnies in the Burbs was started by my parents. And it was just about selling bunny chows in the Burbs because um, we live in um, Craigle Park. So in the northern suburbs, and I think that people have this like perception of it. Or So we thought that we'll make it a community-based thing. And then we thought, no, why don't we make it an online presence where it's not just about the food that we're sharing. It's about the people that come on the show and the stories that we're telling. So it's about changing the African narrative, but also encouraging entrepreneurship. So we've had a pastor. We've had someone from um, Benoni. I've had um, so the first lady to walk on Mount Everest. So it's not just about the food that they're cooking, it's about sharing that narrative and showing that not all Africans are like these people that are always in need, that we're doing great things and we just have to change the world's perspective on us. All right, so how, what exactly is going to happen during the show? Are they going to cook from scratch, prepare food and everything? Are there specifics maybe that you look at? Okay, so the nice thing about the show is that I'm not a chef and none of the people that come on the show are chefs. So okay. what they do is they bring their favorite meal. So what they like to eat at home or something that's brought a memory. And we cook that from scratch, but we also have a dialogue about why that meal is their favorite, how they cook it at home. And sometimes you do a little bit of a spin on it. So it's a, it is a cooking show, but it's more than a cooking show as well. All right, so what's your role in the show? Um, I'm the host. Okay. But um, yeah, so I'm the host. I normally just help with whatever they want me to do, but I also help with um, finding people to come onto the show and just creating meals that you can make at home very quickly because one of my big things is that I'm a student right now mm. and I think that healthy food or even just cooking for yourself is something that we push aside because there's either no time for it or you just don't think that it's as important. So I also focus on cooking like quick meals that we can do at home that are like still really warm and like make you feel fuzzy inside. That's right. But are you health conscious in this show? Not so I mean, health people conscious. People are talking about tea <laughs> nowadays and all sorts of... I don't think it's so much health conscious. It's just cooking good food. Mm. So instead of like running out to get something from a shop where you could make something at home. So we're not health conscious, but mm. we're mm. thinking about what we're eating. All right, no, Tainta, I'm afraid that's where we're going to leave it. But thank you so much for your time and good luck for tomorrow. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you very much indeed. There you have it. That's Tainita Harilal. Uh, she's a 19-year-old entrepreneur and a chef.
She hails from Johannesburg, and you're also studying towards international relations. Yes. All right. No, there you have it. Okay, let's take a break. When we say when you come back, well, okay, we do not take a break. I'm told that it's like six minutes before nine o'clock, and I'm afraid that's where we're going to leave it for today. Tomorrow morning, I'll be coming to you live from the Union Buildings. That's where the National Women's Day celebrations will be. So make sure that you stay tuned to Morning Live as we'll be giving you the events as they happen and when they happen. Thank you so much for having taken your time out to watch Morning Live this morning.